Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Sable. In the last episode we came into this uh, not lava cave and found ourselves some glow arms. We're going to go back and deliver those to the lady so she can feed her wonderful animal here. I uh, I did. I was going to start this episode a few minutes earlier but I got lost in that cave. I couldn't see where the exit was. <laughs> so I thought I'll save us all the trouble. I'll, uh, I'll start the episode outside the cave. I should be able to fast travel back, shouldn't I? Who wanted those? Where is it? Nozzy's... Nozzy's Nibbles. In Ecria. There we go. That saves a huge walk back, doesn't it? Even though I'm sure there was some other stuff in that local area that I said I wanted to look at and I've just forgotten about. We have some other quests we need to look at anyway, so... What the hell? Why did that sound like gunfire hitting a shield? What the hell was that noise? Wow. Maybe it was just the power coming back on? I don't know. Alright, she was in the bug place, wasn't she? Yeah. Hanging out in one of the side rooms. You? No, it's not you. Wait, is it you? It may very well be you. I tell Citra I have the glow worms for her. You do? You know, I'd half forgotten I'd even ask you. Must have been a little distracted. I hand the glow worms over. Thank you for these. Nozzy will be eating even better than me tonight. Here's a merchant's badge as your reward. Ooh. I say goodbye to Citra. Hey, a merchant's badge. That's good. Is that our first merchant's badge? Gotta be a quest item, right? Oh no, there's a badge. We have four cartographers, one guard, and two machinists, and no merchant badges? Okay. That seems a bit strange. But whatever, I suppose. I'm sure that'll work its way out eventually. We know where to get, uh, we can buy them from the lady anyway, if we get stuck for them. Right. This menu being very strange. I have no idea what quest I have selected. There we go. Wonder what the ring shaped artifact is for? I am curious, but I don't know. Uh, AI sat in. Now let's go do lightning in a bottle. Let's go see if we can harvest some stuff. What could possibly go wrong? Is, can we fast travel close to there or? No. But it is in... The, wait, can we fast travel to there? Yes. That gets us close. Let's go have a look at the Crystal Plateau. Let's see if we can get struck by lightning. How exciting is this going to be? Ooh, the, fl the shadow and the floor is being really weird. Good golly. Oh, oh god, I forgot it spins around. That's why it's being weird. Perfect. Let's see if Simone can find me. Otherwise, it's a hell of a long walk. The moon. Here we go again. I swear. I. I lose this bike. Once an episode. There you are. I see you. Let's go. The Crystal Plateau. I need to make some more money. I did pick up loads of glowing mushrooms while I was wandering around that cave trying to work out how to get out. I might be able to sell those to someone for a little bit of a profit. But also, we could also go looking into uh, crashed 
spaceships and things. Like, I'm pretty sure there's going to be one over here, unless a glowworm cave. Maybe this is a crashed spaceship. This. Have a look. Let's have a look while I'm here. Why not? Just around the corner. It's a weird shape on the map, so I'm curious. Ooh, game's running a bit. Game's running a bit dodgy right now. Not entirely sure why, but I'm sure there's been a few patches and things. That looks lootable. We'll check if it is. No, no, it's just a colourful plant. Never mind. <laughs> Can't blame me for trying. I'm after as many ways as possible to make money. Ooh, look, there's a spaceship. Hovering, or is it crashed? Oh no, it's crashed. Oh well, let's see if we can find one of those uh, consoles in here for. The AI. Plus, they tend to be a lot of money. I just see a chum. I did. Hello, chum. Never gonna find all of it, but we can try. And I, I should go see if I can speak to the 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 chum queen and hand in what I have found. Seems like a great idea. Since I can fast travel there. Oh well, well there's your problem. Uh, half your ship's come off. Oh, let's go have a look. Everything's gone a bit grey, but night time, I guess. Oh, there we go. Color palette changed to inside spaceship color palette. Oh, 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 we're gonna make it. We did. Well, we started off strong. There's some scrap. Make sure I do my best to actually look around, make sure I don't miss anything. Any hidden platforms above me? Doesn't look like it. Through the blue door we go. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is a puzzle, isn't it? Okay, so we need a battery for here. She's going to do something with this. I don't know what this is, but... There's a battery up there. The Shadow of Neve. What a... Wonderful name. Okay, there's another power cell here. But I'm, so I'm going to use this power cell. To power the thing by the door and see what it does. You can also turn on... Oh, there's another one up there. Let's do the one by the door first, just to add pure curiosity. I like these little puzzles, they're interesting. Hmm. Interesting. I guess we could use it to throw batteries? That's what I'm kind of... That's the thing I'm thinking of right away. Is that you could use these... To punt a battery? Like you could place the battery in here and it would go... Tunk. But then there isn't enough batteries to power it and throw batteries from what I can see. Unless... Oh, there's more batteries above me. Interesting. Like, I feel that one will throw a battery all the way over there. But I need to get a battery to test the theory. Let's see if we can get higher. A battery in the middle. What would that one achieve, though? Ooh, scrap. What would that one achieve? If that would push something over there? Onto that platform? Unless, of course, I can't climb this blue stuff, in which case then I might have to fling myself and I'm overthinking it. Ooh, I'll climb the blue stuff. Okay. Maybe I have to fling myself up there? Then why would I fling myself?
I guess I could push myself up and then glide? Oof. God. Nope. That didn't work. Right, okay, well, maybe there's another place to put the battery. Well, I mean, there is another place to put the battery down there. If I bring the battery down there, I've got no way of putting it back up again, so... I'm slightly remissed. How would that shoot me? That would shoot me... up here. I just feel like there's not enough batteries right now. Oh. Yeah, okay. There? I guess that would push me over there. Okay, so that won't work either, because I can't actually get a battery up here, can I? Yes, I can walk around. Okay. Plan B. Wait, how can I get how do I get up there though without the <laughs> Without the thing shooting me up there? Oh no. I felt so smart for a second. Like, how do I get up there now? Nope. Okay, I'm not missing a battery, am I? No. I feel like I need two batteries to make this this thing work. Now oh, there's a jump I can make that I haven't managed to work out yet. Aha! Excellent. Even then, I couldn't get a battery up here. I need to get to that battery and that battery. That's all I need to do. There are two batteries above me and I need both of them. Okay, so after wandering around for like, I don't know, 10 minutes or something, I'll cut that out for you guys. Um, I realized, well, there's a chum back here that I've literally just seen. Hi, guy. Outside the door we used to go into that puzzle room, there is another way to go, and I have a horrible feeling it's going to let me climb. Is that this way? This... You see that hole in the wall right there? Yeah. Oh, that's not the duck button. One of these is the crouch button, that one. Damn it. How embarrassing. Oh well, we did it. Oh, there's another chum up there as well. Hmm. I don't see an easy way of getting that chum. I'll worry about that later. <clears throat> For now. I want to get this damnable puzzle done. And this, yes, this puts us up here. Which allows me to drop on the battery. Once I have two batteries, I think I'm in a better place, maybe. Distinct maybe, because I'm actually looking at it and I'm going, hmm, chest up there. Yeah, so we use that, that cannon there shoots us up to there. Okay, maybe I don't worry about that just yet. I'm pretty sure we just need two batteries to open that door. We'll get this battery here. Oh dear. Can't go when I've got this, can I? No, I can throw it though. That wasn't much of a throw, my dear, but good, nice try. I'm starting to realise, though, that this only solves one half of the puzzle. Oh, oh wait. Can I now... Oh, hang on a minute. I'll activate that up there. Okay, and then we can climb back round the long way? Oh, bloody hell, hang on. i got to climb. i got to go back outside the ship, haven't I? Climb back up into the gantry. Oh, yeah, we've turned that on. 
Now I can use that to launch myself up. Away! Oh, well, if nothing else, we got this. 20 cuts? There's a ladder here, so let's see where this goes. We don't use stamina on ladders. Isn't that nice? You have any spare batteries up here? I have a funny feeling this is literally just to get the charm that's on the wing. That's that giant light is something to be indicating. But this doesn't actually help me solve the problem. Oh yeah, nah, it's just a giant light bulb. That's not that helpful. But there's the charm. Unless, but unless I'm missing something, I think that's the only reason we can come up here. But I'll take it, I suppose. I'm hoping there'll be another battery up here. There you go, little fella. Yeah, and there's the exit back again. Oh, entrance, I suppose. Back in here. Okay, so I need four batteries. But I only seem to have access to three. Which means there is some trickery going on here that I'm, I've got to try and think of. There's still that... Like, the ability to fire it over here. Makes me think... We can use this battery here. Still doesn't work the way I want it to work, but then does it need to? Is that one a red herring? Can't be a red herring. I think I might have buggered this up somehow, but I guess we'll, we'll work it out. Oh no I haven't, because I can just drop the battery down there if I want to reset it. Fine. So I, right now I have a solution in my head that I haven't, haven't vocalised, that I can get one battery to either side, but I have no way of getting a battery to both sides. Because right now I can either take this battery, either that side or that side. What I need to do is get more battery. I'm gonna block my way. Oh well, well, we'll mind if I find out. Oh god, that was what I had in plan. Oh, wait, I wanted that to block my way apparently. I'm a genius. I'm an accidental genius. Who saw that coming? That's, that's, that's that side. Now, oh, oh gods. Okay, that's it. Now I just take that battery that's down there. Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. Oh, how many people were shouting that at me? Oh no. <laughs> you do that side first, and then you just take this battery that's in there, down here. Oh my god. That was far too much brain power. For such a simple puzzle. I cannot believe my brain. <laughs> Sometimes. It's taken me like a whole episode to do this one puzzle. Oh man, I'm going to have to cut this down. Good lord. There's a peek behind the curtain. There you go. Open the door in the shadow of Nerve. Or Neve. The fall. Hello AI man. Do you have any treasure in here? You have some more scrap metal. Oh, 
I say hello to Salin. You have unread messages, Sable. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, unread messages. Here are your unread messages. Recording number two. Another terminal blinks to life. The same language I've seen flashes across the screen before. Captain Singh. Yes, Saren? I've detected a potential pattern in the planetary anomaly. There's something strange about it. It should iterate into a chaotic system, but there seems to be a consistency, consistently a repeating pattern. What does that mean? It appears that is something sustaining it, Captain. We are unable to determine the source of this perpetual. It ends here. I push a few more buttons, but I, I can't bring the recording back. No unread messages. Why? Perpetual energy? Perpetual energy, maybe? That seemed interesting. Okay, so there we go. We've done. We've done the uh, this place. Thank God. That was painful. <laughs> Let's carry on with the uh, with the main mission for a little bit. Otherwise, we're going to end up with like a fifteen-minute episode after I've cut out me looking like an idiot for god knows how long. I wasn't the moon down here? The moon! Oh, there you are. I jumped out the wrong side. It keeps un... It keeps unselecting my mission, which is mildly annoying. Don't know why. And away we go. I wonder if I've missed ships in other areas. I may have to go and find them at some point. I would like to find all of the recordings of Saren. I'd like to know the, the story of why some of these ships has actually, have crashed. That's kind of cool. Oh. Oh, we don't have enough oomph. <laughs> oh, no. Wait. The bug. Bug, 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 bug. Crystal butterfly. I will laugh if they are literally just for selling. I'm holding on to them just in case I need them for like a bug catching quest or something. Because I don't know. It seems like the kind of game where it's going to be like, have you collected things throughout your entire playthrough? Has it, did it seriously unequip my quest again? Why? <laughs> I think it keeps like resetting to the gliding quest or something. Oh, this place doesn't look very, uh, like, appetizing, does it? It's all a little bit... I don't know, gassy, I suppose. Oh, there's the lightning plateau. Big-ass cloud of lightning. Just floating. Is this where I'm supposed to be? It is indeed. See if I can get up here. A big climb. I really need to work out if I can get bigger, bigger climbing bars. I think I can, but I'm not entirely sure how. I just feel like bigger climbing bars would make my life so much easier. I'm sure there will be a quest at some point or something that's going to teach me it. I hope. Maybe. If he's inside of this building and there is a front door and I'm climbing up the side of the building that just goes to show how much that puzzle has fried my brain. Oh, climb a total of 500 meters. Oh no, good. There he is. On the roof. No oh, guys, you uh, you guys don't look uh, you guys don't look that great. Are you who I'm supposed to be talking to? Merchant Kay Kaimin. Uh, tell me about this camp. 
They don't seem interested in answering my question. The silence is intense and uncomfortable. I came here years ago. A plateau. It calls to be studied. Her voice is low, but deliberate and thoughtful. Uh, can I buy something off you? I'd like to trade. Wait, hang on a minute. That's like the coolest... That's like the coolest outfit I've seen. I look like some sort of crazy Sith. Rubberized to insulate the wearer from static charges and lightning strikes. Maybe I should buy these. We'll talk to the guy first, just in case he gives them to me for free. Because I, I would be that idiot. Will you talk to me? You look like the guy. You look like the head honcho. You've got more crystals than everybody else. At first sight, the crystal farmers are so striking that I nearly gasp. Their height is immense, and they move with such calm that I cannot help but ascribe some higher knowledge to them, or see the wisdom of age in the curves of their backs. But then I remind myself, my reading is informed by the makers, no, the markers I see among my own people, the short hands of a culture, and these farmers are in no way beholden to my interpretation. I wonder what they make of me. Greetings, Crystal Farmer! Greetings, Glider. I'm called Tota. Tota? And you are? I expect his voice to emerge as a rasp, but instead it spikes like silk from behind his crystalline mask. There's a purity to the sound of him. Every word reaches me as cleanly as a whisper in my ear. I speak slightly louder than normal to ensure that I am heard up there. I tell him my name is Sable, and that Zahar sent me to collect crystals, but advised that I speak to him first. There are no eyes on the crystal he wears, but he lights up at the mention of her name, and I still know where to look. How pleasing to hear that she is well. It has been weeks, if not months, since I have seen dear Sahara. Tell me, Sable, are you on your way to becoming a machinist? <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I'm considering it. I tell him that I'm considering it, and he nods. The light catches his mask, and it glints with every new movement. If you do decide to scale that peak, there are a few better mentors than Sahara. Now then, how may I help you, Sable? Um... I've never met a crystal farmer before. I tell Tahota that he is the first crystal farmer I have ever met, and add that I hope it isn't rude for me to mention. He shifts his weight, and the crystals on his back move lazily with him. Oh, we must look very odd to you. A little. I admit that they do look a little odd to me, but add that that isn't a bad thing. I ask if I look odd to him. You don't, which is particularly... Because I have met others like you. But also, we are the different ones. I offer that we are both different, and somehow I swear he smiles. I'm not sure that's something we decide. Anything else I can do for you? Uh, what is this place? Totao races one of his walking sticks up and points it skyward to gesture to the crystal plateau, leaning at an angle that speaks to some impressive strength. We built it. It was made to draw lightning storms away from the rest of oh, Akoa and concentrate them on that peak. As it happens, a side effect of the, that concentration was the formation of lightning crystals charged with electricity. It makes a circle in the air. Isn't it a wonder? We turned a bane into a boon and a boon into a culture. All the chemicals and condenses that conspired to create the crystal farmers. I nod in agreement, and suddenly this place I thought a factory feels more like a place of worship. Anything else I can do for you? Um, what are those big robots? Those are the reasons my shoulders are complaining and my knees grinding to a dust. They used to harvest our lightning crystals, but now we must do it ourselves, and it's not easy work. I ask what happened. They stopped, all at once. One day, after a storm that seemed otherwise entirely normal, 
they all simply stopped. Some fell over, others stayed up, but none of them ever moved again. In sympathy, I say that must have felt a terrible omen. He shakes his head, and it's the quickest I've seen him move. Oh, nothing like that, no. There is some explanation in mechanics or the chemistry, even if we don't know it. And in that, at least, we take great comfort. I nod, and I think in some way I understand him better. Anything else I can do? So how do I harvest crystals? I tell Tata that I was sent to collect lightning crystals and ask him if I'm allowed to do that, and second, how I might go about it. You're welcome to try. If anyone but Zahara sent you, I would not I would consider talking you out of it, Sable. But she knows people, so I'll simply tell you. He nods to the plateau. Watch and wait for lightning to strike one of the obelisks. When it does, you'll see crystals begin to form on its surface. You need to climb up onto the obelisk and break off what you can of the lightning crystals. You need to be quick about it, though, and get them before they shatter. Not that I think you'll have much trouble. Give a certain quickness. I thank him for the vote of confidence. Anything else I can do for you? Okay, well, he didn't give me a free suit, so I'm going to get one of those suits because it looks cool. Can I sell? Can I, do you, would you like, like, hundreds of these mushrooms? That should cover the cost. That should cover the, uh, cost of the suit, almost. Oh no, it does cover the cost of the suit. What do I look like? That's the real question. Oh, hell yes. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. I love it. It's like a rubber trench coat. I really hope my mask isn't uh, conductive, because, you know, that, that, I haven't really got much protection up there. But I do think I am going to end the episode here. I know it's a bit of a bit of a weird place to end it, but we'll go up onto the Crystal Plateau in the next episode. I believe we have to find a way up onto that plateau right there. Weesh, that's going to be fun. But we're booted for it, we're kitted for it, what could possibly go wrong? But thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe, let me know what you think. Your comments are greatly appreciated. And as always, I'll see you next time.